Now you most likely know that you can put applications in your dock. But did you also know that you could add folders to your dock? And not only can you add folders, you can set how they are displayed when in the dock, how the contents are displayed, as well as how they are sorted. Let's take a look at how we add folders to our dock on the Mac. Now, as I mentioned in the introduction, we all know that we can place our favorite apps here in the dock. All we have to do is just drag and drop them in there, and then we have easy access to them. But if we look at the dock over on the right, you're going to see that we have this folder here. This is a downloads folder. It's installed by Apple when you first open up your Mac. What we can do is we can place other folders in the same area so we have easy access to them, just like we do with apps. Now what you need to do is you need to make sure that when you install folders, which I'll show you how you do this shortly, what you need to do is make sure that it is over to the right of this vertical line. This vertical line here separates apps from your folders. So everything to the left of this is an app, while everything to the right is a folder, including the trash. The trash is just a folder. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that we install any folders over here in this area here. Now you'll also notice that we do have another vertical line. You're going to see that if we go over to the left here, there's another vertical line. What is this one? Well, this one is separating our favorite apps, so these always show, from our recent apps. These will change depending on which apps you recently opened. So how does that play into our folders? Well, we just need to make sure that we're going over to this vertical line here to the right of our recent apps. Now, if you're not showing your recent apps, you can turn this on and off over here. You can turn this off in system settings. You may not have this second vertical line. So what we're going to focus on is everything to the left of the trash. There's that vertical line there. That's what we're going to focus on, this area here. This is where we can place folders. So now, how do we add folders? Well, just like with apps, all we have to do is just drag and drop. If we go over to my desktop here, you're going to see that I have this work folder here. What I would like to do is add this to the dock. All I do is just click and drag, and I place it to the right of that vertical line, and you're going to see that the dock actually makes space for it, and I can place it anywhere I want. You want to make sure you don't drag it into the trash or drag it into another folder. You could do that as well. We don't want to do that. What we want to do is just place it right down here where the dock makes space for it. And when I let go, that folder now is in the dock. So what does this do for me? Why would I add a folder to the dock? Well, when we click on it, we can easily see the content. So now all I need to do is just click on this folder here and I can see the contents of that folder. So we have easy access to the folder no matter what app we are in. Now in addition to that, what we're able to do is set how the folder shows in the dock. If we go take a look at our two folders here, you're going to see that one is a folder, the downloads folder, it's just a folder. But if we look at this one here, it's a stack. It's actually stacking a couple of different folders along with a document. What we can do is we can set if we want to show it as a stack or a folder. To do that, all you do is just control click on it. So I hold down the control key and I click. We have to get to our contextual menu. So I hold down the control key and click. And you're going to see we have a number of options. To change how it is displayed, we just go to display as. And then we set if we want it to be a folder or a stack. So when I go and select folder here, we can see it is now a folder. Let's go and change my downloads to a stack. I control click on it, and then we go over to display as stack. And now we can see it's a stack of documents that is in that folder. Now in addition to changing how it is shown in the doc, we can also set how the contents are displayed when we click on it. When we click on this folder here, we get a fan. And then when we click on this folder here, we get a grid. We actually have three different views that we can show our contents with. To change the view, all we do is just control click on it again. And then you're going to see view content as. 
and we can select fan, grid, or list. Now, why would I want to change the view? Well, when we go over to list here, let's just take a look at this folder here. I have a few items in this folder. So I'm going to go with list here. List works really nice because we can actually drill down into different folders here. All I do is just hover my cursor over top of it, and then we can see what is in that folder. But the problem with the list is when you have a lot of items in it, you have to scroll. So you may not want to use list when you have a lot of items in it. But when you have a few items in it, let's go over to work here. I don't have a lot of items in here. What I may want to do is change this one to a list. And now we can see a nice list here and I can drill down into those different folders. With grid view, as we saw, what it does is it just shows us a grid of what is in that folder. And when we click on a folder here, what it'll do is it'll open up that folder into a grid. So we can go into a folder with the grid view. Now, if you have a lot of items, what you may want to use is the fan view. When I go over to fan here, what it's going to do is show me the first few items. And then what I'm able to do is open up the folder itself just by clicking on this. So when I click on this, it's going to open up the folder itself. This is great when you have a lot of items in your folder. Now there's one other setting for this. You can have the Mac decide if you want it to change the view for you automatically depending on the number of items. All you have to do is just control click on it again and then you're going to see automatic. Click on automatic and now depending on how many items are in there it'll change the view for you. Now we can also set how the content is sorted when we click on the folder in the dock. When we go back over to my work folder here, when I click on it, it is sorted by name. Now what I would like to do is change this to sorted by kind. So then it groups all of my folders together, it groups all of my PDFs together. In order to do that, all we have to do is just control click on it again, and then you're going to see sort by. And from here, what I'm able to do is change to date added, date modified, date created, or kind. So let's go with kind here. And now when I click on this, we can see it grouped all of my folders together and it grouped all of my PDFs together. So it's grouping my documents together by kind. When we go over to the downloads folder, by default, this one is sorted by when the files were added. So now when I click on this, the first file here is the last file that was added or downloaded. So if I were to download another file, it would go here. It's not sorted by name or kind, by date added. Now with the downloads folder, what I like to do is I actually like to have this as a fan because I tend to get a lot of items in my downloads folder. And now when I click on this and it's sorted by when it was downloaded, the last file that I downloaded is right there. Easy access to it. I can open it up. I can click on it to drag it. Now what about removing a folder? What happens when you remove a folder from the dock? Well, basically all it does is just remove it from the dock itself. It doesn't actually delete the original folder. So let's say I wanted to remove this work folder here. All I do is just click and drag and drag it up. I wait a second or two and you're going to see it says remove there. And now when I let go, that folder is no longer in my dock. But if we look, the folder is still there. It doesn't delete the original folder. All it does is just remove it from the dock. So you're not going to delete anything. It's just removing it from the dock. Now I'm going to end with a tip, one of my favorite tips. What I like to do is I like to add the applications folder to my dock. So then I have easy access to all of my applications. So we're going to take all of these things that we've learned and see how it works when we add the applications folder to the dock. So I'm going to go over to a new finder window and I need to go to my applications. So I just go and select my applications here. And then from here, what I need to do is I need to drag this folder down to the dock. Well, when we go up to applications here and we leave our cursor there for a split second, you're going to see that a little folder appears here. All I need to do is just drag that folder down to the dock, to the right side of that vertical line. So let's go ahead and do that. And it's dragging down here, makes room for it, and there's my application. So let's go ahead and close this. The next thing I like to do is make sure that it's sorted by name. By default, it should be sorted by name, but let's just go and double check it. So I just control click on it, 
it's sorted by name. Now what I like to do is I like to have this as a folder. I don't want to have it as a stack. So I select folder. And then what I like to do is make sure that it is a grid. So then I can see all of my app icons in a grid view. So now I select grid. And now when I click on this applications folder, I can see all of my applications. They're in alphabetical order. And I can see the icons nice and big. It's in grid view. So that is how we can add folders to our dock on the Mac, as well as how we can change how they are viewed in the dock, how the contents are displayed, as well as how they are sorted. All you do is just drag a folder down to the dock, control click on it, and set the options that you want to have. So that is how you can add folders to the dock on the Mac.